bait and switch. Are any of you familiar with that term? For those who are uninformed, bait and switch is when an employer will list a job on the various job boards. You know them, LinkedIn, Indeed, ZipRecruiter, uh, Glassdoor, so on and so forth. They will list a job which offers this salary and a few perks. I don't know, remote work, maybe a hybrid schedule. Only for you to receive notice that these perks don't exist. In fact, the company has budget restraints and can't offer the salary that they listed on the job board. That's bait and switch, ladies and gentlemen. Why do companies get away with this? With hundreds of thousands of people unemployed in dire straits, unable to provide for their family, maybe provide for themselves if they're single, unable to pay bills. Why do companies get away with this? Why don't companies have to answer to anyone? To their superiors? I don't know, to the Department of Labor? Someone. People are sitting here trying to make ends meet, applying the jobs minute after minute, hour after hour, day after day, week after week, hundreds upon hundreds upon thousands of applications all over the place. And I get it. Competition's at an all time high. Perhaps we're in an employer's market. They have the leverage so they can pull stunts like this. But why don't they have to answer to anyone? How fair is it for someone who might have been out of work for a year, possibly two years, scouring through every website possible, every monster, even going to monster. You're that desperate where you go to monster and career builder to two dinosaur websites. But you're so desperate that you're looking for any and everything. And just when you thought you landed on the job that fit, where you felt you met the criteria and suddenly they yanked the rug from underneath you. That job doesn't exist, bozo. We were just joshing you. How is that fair? And the problem is when an employee or potential employee reacts, i.e. reach out to a congressman or woman or reach out to the Department of Labor. They face the risk of being blackballed by other employers because for some reason, other employers will see these things. Oh, this employee, this is during the background check, perhaps. This employee, you know, had an issue with an employer pulling a bait and switch. You get blackballed. It's a domino effect. This is why I always say the system is just screwed because the advancement of technology was supposed to be favorable to society. Some instances it is, but I'm finding that most of the time it isn't. You go through more issues with technology than back in the days, opening up a newspaper and heading to the help wanted section. I feel like there were less issues then. And if I'm telling my age, so be it. Newspapers were the bomb, but the bait and switch has to stop. It's an unfair practice and it's intentionally done. Say what you want. And the job boards are no better. LinkedIn has become Facebook 2.0. It's Facebook for the professionals. And if you don't believe me, just go on there. A million likes after a post. Some people post around the clock. Others only post when something good happens, i.e. a new job or promotion. Hey, I got a new job. Congratulate me on this new job. Hey, congratulations, Karen. Congratulations, Mike. It reeks desperation. 
And not even that, not only that, potential employees or those unemployed who are looking for jobs, who are desperate right now, are being told not to include open to network or open to work on their profiles. So if you're unemployed right now and you're looking for work and you're on Indeed, please, I beg of you, do not put open to work next to your profile picture because the experts are saying that wreaks desperation. Recruiters and HR reps are turned off by that. What a world where when you're out of work and you are asking and pleading for people to pay attention to your resume, you're begging, you're on bended knee, hey, I'm open to work, pick me, you shouldn't do that. You should just sit still and hope you get picked in a field of millions. You gotta make it make sense or else everything is gonna feel rigged. Please. Can we go back to newspapers?